Hello and welcome to Fight News Now Extra, Boxing Edition. I am Corey Yerdman. Coming up today, Errol Spence finds an opponent for September 11th. AB aims for a fourth title in as many weight classes. And James Tony's career may finally be over. Last week, it was announced that Premier Boxing Champions will be heading north of the border to Toronto with Adonis Stevenson Tommy Carpensi as the main event. It has now been announced that Errol Spence will be the chief support on the card as the rising welterweight star takes on Chris Van Heerden. Spence has been on a roll of late taking out Canadians with back-to-back -back TKO wins over Sammy Vargas and Phil LaGreco. Van Heerden, meanwhile, is riding a nine-fight winning streak but has never stepped up to face anyone of Spence's caliber. Spence has recently been rumored as a possible opponent for Keith Thurman in the very near future. Adrian Broner is coming off another loss at the hands of Sean Porter, but nonetheless, he is set to fight for a fourth world title in as many weight classes. The problem will reportedly meet Khabib Lakverdiev on October 3rd with the vacant WBA light welterweight title on the line. Lakverdiev's promoter Vladimir Hrunov says that his charge will fly to the United States on September 1st for the duration of his camp as he will train alongside Sergei Kovalev with John David Jackson. While the television outlet is still unknown for the bout, it will apparently land either in Las Vegas or in Broner's hometown of Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, Timothy Bradley is seemingly locked out of the Mayweather sweepstakes, but there are still plenty of exciting fights for him to be involved in. Desert Storm may be taking the most entertaining of them, as the WBO welterweight champ is reportedly deep in negotiations to defend his title against Brandon Rios. The WBO has declared Saddam Ali as his mandatory, but it appears the top rank is willing to pay step-aside money to move ahead with their preferred bout instead. Rios was recently in negotiations for another title shot against Kell Brook, however those fell apart over disputes over the location of the event. Motor Bob Arum has told reporters that he hopes to make the fight happen in November, possibly at the Forum in Los Angeles, California. And finally, it would seem that James Tony's career has finally come to an end. The future Hall of Famer, who says he is on a quest to take part in 100 fights, lost a wide decision to club fighter Charles Ellis in Missouri. Ellis sports a record of 9-3-1, but handily defeated Tony by scores of 97-93, 98-92, and 99-91. Prior to this loss, Tony was last seen in the UK Prize Fighter Tournament, where he lost in the semi-final to Jason Gabbard. That's all for today's boxing news. For more on the sweet science, log on to FightNetwork.com and follow us on Twitter at FightNet.